Hi everyone, I'm Brianna. I'm a senior at Concordia. I'm in the nursing program and I've played volleyball and basketball here at Concordia. Uh, my name is Matt Bai. I'm a senior biology major and I play football and I ran track here. So we're going to go through a tour of Memorial Auditorium first. So we're just going through the doors to one of the parking lots. Um, just getting into the basketball gym where they play volleyball as well. I have a lot of great memories here, my senior night and beating some high ranking teams here on the court. Yeah, um, I actually played basketball my freshman year here, so I have some good memories as well. Um, it was a lot of fun actually the last four years to watch Brianna play um, both of those sports. Who would you say the best team was um, that you guys beat here? Um, we beat Gus Davis a couple times here at home and then um, yeah, some of the other ones were on the road, but I would say here was Gus Davis. Yeah, and our student section sits right over in this corner, um, so it's been a lot of fun being a part of that um, off the court as well for me. Good. So now we'll head down to uh, where the athletic training room is and then where some of the locker rooms are, where uh, we meet before practice and before games. So here's the women's basketball locker room. It's nice and big, and they also have some couches in here, and. It has a shower, so we're able to shower after practices and games. Yeah, so the same thing as the women's volleyball locker room. You just have lockers for each player with your names um, on the lockers and showers and the, uh, stools and nice whiteboard. Um, probably just what you guys are used to. Uh, but yeah, just in a great space for um, just before practice and before games to get ready. It's nice at Concordia, they have a laundry service for the athletes, so we can come before our practices and our clothes are washed. Mm -hmm. We're at the weight room now. Yeah, so we spend a lot of time in here, obviously, for all of the sports. It's really important to make sure you're lifting and running. Um, and they make really, really good use of this area. Um, obviously, you see a lot, of, um, a lot of racks, and basically it's one big platform, so uh, we're not really confined to one space in here and they have a lot of dumbbells on the wall over here mm -hmm. um, and then uh, coach brandon toothaker i think takes really good care of us yeah. all right so now we are going from the weight room and we're going to head over uh, to the olsen forum where the track is uh, before we go there we will we'll take a stop at the athletic training room um, and just take a look in there and show you guys um, some of the some of the services we have in here you'll find the athletes here a lot before practices Yep, so we have our ice baths over here, a bunch of um, yoga balls, a lot of tables for us to use, and then we can use that uh, bench area up there as well. Um, personally, I spent a lot of time in here. I don't know <laughs> if you did, but um, I was unfortunately hurt a little bit. Um, so they had these nice little uh, Easton machines, um, and also a lot of the trainers. There's a lot of staff here, and they're really helpful. Um, they'll really do anything that you need for, um, just to get ready for practice and for games. Yeah, I know for preseason we'd have long practices and also like three practices a day. So we'd come in here and ice bath and mm -hmm. make sure our legs were ready for the next day. Yeah, the training staff takes really good care of us um, and they really want to see us all do really well. Yeah. So our next stop is another weight room that we have. It was home to the wrestling um, team, but now they moved it and they have some weightlifting uh, equipment in there for us to use. Yep, and so they actually put a turf in here, um, so you can do, you see those ladders on the floor, you can do some footwork stuff, um, you have some stuff on the wall, so this is really just a great, uh, great room just to, to um, do a bunch of different things that maybe you don't get to do in a normal weight room. Yeah, I know our other weight room fills up fast with the other teams, mm -hmm. so volleyball came in here a lot to get our quick lifts in before and after practices. Yeah, it's just a great extra space for, um, for all of our teams to use. Mm -hmm. And this room here um, behind these doors is where all of the laundry gets taken care of um, and as well as just other equipment and jerseys. Yes. So now we will finally get to Olsen Form, which is our field house. Um, also has our track and then four basketball courts in it as well. So you have four courts here and then way down here we have uh, batting cages uh, for baseball team. And then there's a net up here um, and that drops down. Uh, the track team uses it, the hockey team uses it, the baseball team uses it. Um, just a really great, uh, great area for a bunch of sports teams and obviously with the track as well. Um, so where indoor practices take place. Yeah. It's nice we do our preseason in the summer down here for volleyball so we can have all the courts set up, mm -hmm. lots of um, drills going on at once. Yeah, and the basketball mm -hmm. team uses these courts as well obviously when the main court's taken. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's just a lot of, a lot of teams use this area um, for a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. All right, so 
here we are getting to what is called the balcony. Um, it's kind of become a little bit of a famous place at Concordia. <laughs> Yep, and to get in, so all you need is your student ID and it's free um, for all students to use, all staff as well. Mm -hmm. um, and here's a little just like workout area to do maybe like core, push-ups, um, really anything that just doesn't involve weights. They also provide mats that you can use so you don't have to lay on the carpet. Yep, here are some bikes and just mostly uh, cardio equipment. Um, as you see, there's a lot of room up here. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll always almost uh, have space to do what you want to do up here. And it's nice that it's open throughout the day, so you come, you can come in between classes if you want, just get a quick workout in. Yeah, I know a lot of my friends, um, maybe if they're out of season and they don't have anything to do, they just come up here quick, mm -hmm. um, maybe before a lab or after a class, um, just mm -hmm. to get a quick workout in. And it's nice that it's connected to our balcony, so if mm -hmm. you want to come over in shorts during the winter, you can walk through the balcony. Mm -hmm. And then out here you have a great view of A Street, um, if that's what you're into, uh, nice trees. And then we have some weights down here uh, if you want to do some, um, just some workout with uh, just some free weights. Hello everyone. We are out here at the Jake Christensen Stadium and we are just going to show you around some of our outdoor athletic facilities. So my name is Mariah Fornes. I'm a senior here and I run cross country and do track and field. Hey, my name is Willie Jolks and I'm also a senior here at Concordia and I participate in football and track and field. And my name is Ronan McTar, I'm also a senior here and I participated in soccer. While we're standing on the football field, Willie, why don't you talk about your football experience? Well, uh, I competed in football and track and field, so I spent a lot of time here at the Jake Stadium. Uh, our track turf is amazing. Uh, we had a brand new video board that is beautiful to watch on game day. Uh, and speaking of game day, when these places packed, it is amazing to see the stands full and even people wrapping around the bend where the, where the fields are at. It's, it's just amazing. Willie, do you have a favorite game memory on this field? Favorite game memory? I'd have to say it would be our goal line stop to uh, win the game over number four at the time, I think, Whitewater. But overall, really coming out to this field every Saturday morning to, uh, you know, the tailgate cookout we got going on, music blasting off the scoreboard. Uh, th those will be those will be cherished for life, for sure. Yeah. Now we're heading over to the soccer field. This is where all the magic happens. Thank you guys for sharing about the track and the football field. We're gonna get into into soccer field, where where we play our games. So, Rona, what does a game day look like here? Yeah, great question, Willie. So, it actually starts out the day before. We have our pregame practice, pregame day practice, and coach sets out our schedule for the next day, whether it's waking up early to get our meal in and then getting a light jog and stretch in the morning. Um, but really, from then on, you're, you're just getting focused, you're getting ready to go out here and perform. And normally you'll have class, or maybe it's an away game, we'll be doing some traveling, but um, that's that's really you know just the pregame part. But then. The magic happens when you actually get out here and you, you get to leave class and you go do what you love, right? And so we come into our locker room, which is actually right behind us here. Um, and that's where we have, you know, our pregame meetings and we get ready to take on the task at hand. And now we're heading into the men's locker room. Here, I'll show you guys just a little bit inside. And here's what it looks like. Got a nice view. Our locker room is actually one of the bigger ones in the Mayak. It's probably actually the nicest locker room in the Mayak. Um, we got our board here. Normally, before every single game, you'll have a starting lineup here as well as tactics for the game that coach prepares for us. But our motto on the team is, is gas. It stands for grit, attitude, and sacrifice. So how full is your gas tank? So now we're headed towards the Thorson Athletic Center. So first, let's take a look inside our training room. So we have a couple main doctors that come in, um, as well as, as athletic trainers, and then we have some student athletic trainers as well, from Concordia, as well as like NDSU and MSUM, who come in. So this is a pretty busy place um, during season, uh, but a lot of people out there to help you out with any of your injuries or needs that you have. Definitely, definitely. The treatment we get here is unreal. Mm -hmm. uh, the bed set up, uh, the ice tub, it, uh, calling it an ice bath is just, doesn't do it justice really. It's a jacuzzi, if you will. 
Yeah. It's super cold though. <laughs> very, very, but it feels amazing. Yes, it does. Now let's take a look inside our football and baseball locker room. So now we're in the middle of our football locker room and as you can see the emblem, our Concordia C, has a light above it that actually never shuts off. Even at, at night when all the other lights are off, that light constantly stays on. We have it roped off as a matter of respect for it. Um, no one goes on it except after a game day win. Here at Concordia's football team, we have the Joshua Show, which is accompanied by Joshua 1-9. Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. This is just the foundation of our team and what we like to carry with us throughout every game, throughout every practice, throughout every season. Now, as you can imagine, football has a lot of gear that gets used, but luckily here at Concordia, all of our athletic facilities uh, have their laundry taken care of, athletic laundry taken care of, um, that's ready for you back in your locker day after day. Hi, this is Taylor Erholtz. I'm a junior at Concordia College. I play on the softball team and I'm an infielder. I play third base and with me I have... Eric Watt. Um, I'm a senior this year and I'm graduating. Uh, my major is business marketing and I'm on the baseball team. Very nice. Well first what we're going to show you, here we have the nice tennis courts, leisure tennis courts that you can get some work in. Yeah, we have a lot of students that use these tennis courts for um, kind of just outside activity aside from our tennis team. Um, a lot of people in the community use these as well and they're just a nice convenient thing to have out in the community. Get out and get some exercise. What a nice day it is, Eric. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Can't beat this. This might only be the softball field, home of the Concordia softball team. Look at that athleticism. Woo -wee. So here we've got the softball field and nice green grass. Here we we actually just got a new um, backstop put in with our logo, so that's pretty sick that we got some new stuff on the field. Lots of fun memories out on this field. Oh, look at this. Eric's coming in hot. <laughs> hey, Taylor. Now, what's your favorite softball memory? You know, Eric, I would probably have to say... Um, one of my best memories here is when we played St. Mary's and we were down five to six and I was up to bat and I hit a home run and we won the game. Woo! Yep. Uh -huh. Woo we woke it, up. It was actually on corn stock too. Woo! So we had quite the crowd and we have lots of fans. So we love when you guys come out and support us. So here on your right outside of the field, we have our uh, convenient batting cages. You can see that there's some people getting in work. So even in the off season, we take our softball very seriously so go in and get at them. Now Eric this looks a little familiar can you give me and tell me where we're at right now? Yeah we're just about to enter on to Bucky Burgau field. Uh, beautiful field. Um, here's our dugouts. Um, head coach Chris Coast has built a great tradition here at Concordia. Um, we're all pretty proud baseball players and uh, we wear that cob received really nicely and um, yeah, have a great time. Yeah, so we installed this turf a couple years ago, and honestly, it's it's awesome. Our coaches like it because our pants don't get as dirty, but um, we just got to worry about some of the pellets. Um, been awesome having this field. Had a lot of great memories. Um, just to list a few, it's been awesome having corn stock here. Uh, we get quite the crowd actually, and it's really fun where all of our all of our Concordia friends are cheering us on. Um, probably another great memory was when we swept St. Thomas. It was a big doubleheader win for us. And we haven't swept St. Thomas in a long time, so it was a really big win. And now, uh, Taylor, are we headed into your locker room? This is. This is where we head in before game days. Okay. And it looks a little empty right now, but just imagine some speakers, Ooh. uniforms all laid out for us. Um, yeah, we all come in here as a team, we get ready. It's kind of our ritual to pump up and mm -hmm. get rowdy and I mean what else do you need before a game day so yeah definitely um, it's kind of a luxury in here we've got some showers bathrooms pretty big screen TV we got here Taylor huh yes. too man I mean live sports you want to watch <laughs> and everybody gets their own individual locker name tag everything so pretty snazzy awesome hi I'm coach Quincy Osborne and I'm excited to show you the Cobber wrestling facility this is the coach's office and also uh, it serves as a little bit of a lounge area for athletes to come in. Um, a lot of times guys will stop in here and, and hang out before practice or when we're going out on trips and we're waiting for the bus. 
um, video games, stuff like that kind of happening here. Um, this is also just kind of our main uh, coaching space, coaching office. On the right hand side here is the coach's locker room. On the left, there is um, sort of a history of our program, a lot of uh, influential coaches and athletes that have went through this program and uh, made an impact here. This is the wrestler locker room. Again, wrestling only space, so we're not having to deal with uh, other teams coming in and using uh, our locker room or anything like that. This is the mat room. Two full-size mats in here. Uh, also a lot of uh, workout equipment. Exciting thing about this space is, is again, that we have a lot of built-in features. We have the ropes. Um, we also have the rings on the other side. Um, we use those a lot. Um, we also have a lot of power equipment. Um, the whole floor over there on the side is set up for uh, weightlifting as a platform. On the upper uh, side over here, we have our one-time All-Americans. And then on the other side here, where we have a quote that we like to live by, um, talking about sticking to the process. Um, on this side, we have multiple-time All-Americans and our national champions.